hotels, pubs, and so on. Now, it may be just a coincidence that it turns to be these places. I mean, clearly they've got a lot of history, so there's lots of events that will have taken place over the years. But also, it probably isn't bad for business if you know, people, if, if a myth develops that you know the, the place is haunted, it's probably going to draw more people in than it's actually going to send away. Now, again, in, particularly in the case of pubs, then you, you've got a situation there where people may often kind of uh, maybe have had one too many, and uh, I think maybe one or two of the instances that we hear about you know, are genuinely due to spirits, but maybe not the kind of spirits that the psychics would have us believe. As night falls, the team's clairvoyants believe they can make contact with the Theatre Royal's ghosts by staging a seance, a gathering of those who claim to possess psychic powers. Heavenly Father, Divine Spirit, First, they say a prayer. Protection and guidance this evening. We ask that we all be allowed to work with your realm and unite the two worlds together to bring forth proof of survival. We ask this in love and in light. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody here that wishes to speak to us? Is there somebody there? A succession of spirits appears to come to Marion as she slips into a trance. James Howard. Hello, James. How do you do? How do you do? Is there somebody else here? <coughs> Tommy, Gov. Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hi. Isn't hi a very modern greeting? And what do you do, Tommy? Do you work here? Yeah. I could see you. What's your name? My name is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. What did you use today? Sarah's spirit doesn't answer. But after apparently making contact with a number of the theatre's more friendly resident ghosts, the ghost detectives were oblivious to the stories of a far more malevolent spirit lurking 50 feet above their heads in the fly tower. Just 24 hours to go at the Theatre Royal in Margate, the ghost detectives are focusing their attention on the fly tower 50 feet above the stage. Clairvoyant Paul Hanrahan is sent to investigate. Right, well, as you come up to the top of the, the stairs, as the floor levels out, there's a very strong presence there of a gentleman. He's not very tall, very thin of build, very agile sort of gentleman, and he's given me the name of George. Um, and I don't feel very comfortable up here. And I feel that this George would have been involved in an attempted murder. He's quite a strong presence. I feel he would have been up here quite on quite a frequent basis. And I feel he'd have been peeping, looking for somebody. I feel he either had a grudge or, or, or some problem with another individual who would have been in this theatre. I, I don't want to go near the edge. I feel that I'm in this area here, which is where he would have um, done whatever he did. Not down there, not over there, but right here. And I am not comfortable going to the edge there. And just like I'm not comfortable standing by the stairs, 
I don't know if he, when you're standing there, it does feel as if he wants to try and push you back down the stairs. The fly tower is no place for the faint-hearted at the best of times. As the story goes, the theatre's upper reaches are haunted by the ghost of an ancient mariner. It's said that ropes and timbers taken from a shipwreck off the coast of Margate were used to build the scenery gantries. But with the plundered material of the wreck came one of its earliest minders, as stage manager Justin discovered. Yes. I think it was last panto. It might have been the one before. I can't remember now. Um, I was up in the fly tower, which you'll probably see a bit later on. Um, uh, for reasons on that, I don't know why I was why I was standing on it. We've got these little cleats where you tie all the ropes, so you lift the cl you know the cloths out. Um, all the crew were downstairs, and I was being lazy upstairs watching them basically. Um, flew one of the cloths out, tied another one off. They were tying more cloths on, and I stood where you tie the cleats. Um, stupid, really, because you could fall. I mean, it's, it's nothing there at all. Standing on there, and um, felt a bit creepy up there. Um, and I felt a guy literally blowing my face, and it, it, I couldn't see him. I must admit, I did not see him. But you know when someone, you know, you know what I mean when someone's right in front of you, blew me in the face. Definitely felt that, and I fell backwards, luckily backwards, into the fly floor, and then promptly ran down the stairs. And I was being, it felt like I was being chased, although no one's touching. You know, you know what I mean. No one's touching you, but they're right there. And I ran down the stairs, and I still don't like going up there now. The fly tower above the stage seems to be the focus of paranormal energy, according to the ghost detectives, who also believe a seance is the only way to coax its spirits into the open. But none of the team was prepared for what was to happen next. The clairvoyants have dispensed with their usual prayers before a seance, and Marion appears to slip immediately into a trance. Marion's lunge for the ropes saw her inches away from a fatal drop to the stage below. Go down. You must remain You must seated. stay down. Remain Sit seated. Sit down. We will remove you. Sit down. Calm down. All we want to do is talk to you. All we want to do is talk. The team believes that a powerful spirit has taken control of Marion and refuses to leave. Hello, you have to leave Marion now. Leave Marion now, please. Now. Now. Leave her now. Marion, can you hear me? Right, will you leave, please? Now! Leave her now! With Marion still seemingly possessed, the spirit appears to be trying to communicate. There's a pen. It's okay. You can draw that much, see? It's all right. We mean you know okay. harm. It's okay. Rest now. Get back in the house. Punch, Joe. 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 An old stage prop appears to be upsetting the spirit, although it's unclear why. It's all right. Just keep blocking over you that way. Take it away. Take it away. What do you want to say? Take it away. Take what away? That. That thing there. I didn't. No, I know you didn't. didn't. I know I you know didn't, you didn't do, do it. It's, it's right. okay. It's okay. It's we, over now. We believe you. You can do it's it. over now. You can't do it. Down. 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 Right, so. It's just down. If she wants it down. Right, okay.